uh, longest substring without repeating characters. Given a string, find the length of the longest substring without repeating characters. Uh, and then there's a bunch of examples. I guess what I like about these earlier problems is that they don't try to make it too difficult to understand, at least. Uh, at least these are just like very standard E things. Uh, e, I don't know. But, uh. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, the, the, the thing is that they also didn't give you like an N. So like, you know, there's a difference between whether, you know, we want to use an N, uh, O of N or O of, you know, whatever. So, eh. But, uh, okay. Um, maybe there are multiple ways to do this. I'm not sure. But, 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 but we could just use greedy with a, a sort of a rolling window is what I might my uh, intuition is what I mean is that you kind of created you, you add some characters on on the you know beginning of your window and then you keep on adding 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 it's like oh we already have an A well then um, you know then you have to you know subtract from the beginning of the window so now you have BCA it's like oh, okay we're, we're good again to get until you see that A or whatever and then you gotta keep going and you gotta keep track of the uh, um, the longest substring while repeating characters can you submit anything or just like the shortest or the earliest or the lexicographically uh, earliest substring? Probably, I, I guess I'll do that just in case anyway. Wait, why not? Just use the comparator function except for length. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's my intuition. I don't know if I have to go into that much more. Am I doing C++? I, I don't... I think lead code randomly puts me into like a language and I just kind of use it because last time it was in Python. I don't think I selected Python, so maybe I did. But uh, so that the answer must be a substring, not a character. Yeah, I mean, yeah, okay. Um, the only other thing I would have maybe, uh, <clears throat> only other thing that might have made, made an optimization, but now I'm not going to just because eh, uh, is around um, kn knowing whether the input substrings uh, contain only ASCII or like stuff like that so then because then you can just have a you know a, a, like does it fit in char or something like that I mean that's not a big deal either way so okay uh, and since I'm just gonna be lazy instead of using high power stuff I'm just going to use a map uh, really set do I always mess that up because I forget the uh, uh, I, I always forget that in std, wait, STL, wait, is it? I mean, anyway, in the, in the C++ libraries, they, they changed the, the, the language of the uh, library or, the, or like, like Q uses like different uh, uh, vocabulary as the other ones and so forth. And set is like, I think, insert and stuff. So I guess we'll see. Anyway, I'm just going to go. Also, I use like old school C plus plus a little bit. So I think the newer libraries they have like extensions and stuff, which makes a lot of these things easier for sure. But uh, so it's also in theory. You, if I was an interview, I would mention that in. In real life, I'll probably, in theory, use a string buffer type thing. I actually don't know if C++, ha C++ ha probably have it, or you use like a temporary char array or something like that. But, uh, yeah. but okay, what am I doing? So if it's not in there, then... That's, that's the kind of expensive operation. But, uh, so now if it's already in there, 
then you have to essentially pop off the beginning until uh, actually I guess this could be a queue actually hmm. maybe maybe that it's more natural and I and I could feel a little nice about it um, yeah I don't know if it's called insert maybe it's called push back or something like that go Google it actually hang on I actually, uh, when I'm on an interview, I actually don't mind that people use Google and stuff like that because sometimes it's just, it's not that, you know, everyone does it in their real life anyway. And I actually, in earlier days, I used to stream me Googling because I'm not ashamed of it per se, but but because Google is personalized, I had some <laughs> uh, sketchy results, not sketchy, just like weird-ish results, and I, I, I don't, nothing weird came up, but possibly in the future, real things can come up, so... Uh, <laughs> so, uh, so I, I'm kind of preemptively not doing that on stream, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I'm not really that ashamed about. And now I'm doing set uh, remove because I think in general, I, uh, okay, you race because um, in general I uh, I uh, do everything on stream because I'm not really that like ashamed of it per se. Uh, P for popping off? No, I don't know. Dot pop one or something like that. Oh man, why did I close that window? I just pop. Okay. Wait, is it pop or? Because well, I mean, pop is a thing, but I think it actually just pops without when getting the font. Um. <coughs> So okay. So it finds this letter. That means it should try to find it. Not. So it should pop the phone until it sees that letter. Okay. Let me do a while. And because you know you've seen that letter, you it's guaranteed that you run into it. Otherwise, I don't know. There's some weird invariant thing. That's it's not uh, going on correctly. Uh, but then in that is uh, P. Then theory. Now, so I guess I could do this. now because then you kind of don't have to precondition okay uh that uh and then now processing it you insert the last one back in which is fine and then also kind of i think that's most of the code i have to do some comparison to kind of get stuff into results but it should be okay um okay um, what did we say? It doesn't tell you how to do type quicker, so I'm just gonna assume it's the one that comes earlier on the thing. So I don't know, wish me okay luck. I don't know. <laughs> uh, if current that's is equal to then sub is equal to eh, convert this from current. Okay, fine. Um, <coughs> Okay, fine. We rename this a little better. Maybe okay. convert Q to string, but uh, let's get this working first. Mm. Yeah, I'm fine. Just do it the lazy way. We could worry about optimizations later. Oh, is there a way to get the entire cube without emptying it? Or did I mess up? <laughs> I am not a C++ expert yet. Well, maybe I messed up on that. I then, hmm. 
Like is there elevator? There's no Q elevator. Hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. You're right. I have to. Oh, but the size is. Thing, right. Uh, I think I miss understand what you mean. But give me a second. If you need elevator for a Q, then you need something more than a Q. Oh well, that's a little sad. Okay. Uh, what's the, what am I thinking of? List. Push back is fine, bump is fine, I think it's a cool. Yeah, let's see this is, this move flight. Pop flight, okay. It's not so bad of a conversion actually. Alright, let's just run this code, see if it compiles. Um, yeah. Ow. That's what you meant. <laughs> oh, we don't even, so we don't even need this. Oh, man. I think I just read the explanation and stuff like that. You're right. Oh, man. Wow. This is much easier. Then I don't even, then I could keep it as a queue, actually. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I really have reading problems today. I don't know. Because uh, I, I re misread the other problem a little too. Uh, I mean, they're, they're parallel, they're similar, so I'm not like doing ridiculous amount of wrong things. So thanks for pointing it out. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I guess you eventually I would have noticed, but I, now I saved me a couple of minutes running. What am I doing? But uh, I think I misunderstood what you meant anyway. But uh, okay, now we can move this back to Q. Uh, where's the pop that I changed? Okay. Hmm. This this is the only part that I'm like slightly whatever on, but but it should be okay. Unless I'm doing something silly. Hmm. Sake for well, let's just do something simple. And I keep on talking about tiebreakers too, and I was like, well, I guess you didn't need it after all. But, uh, oh, I also messed this up. This should be the then if because this is if this is not in the thing. That's probably why this was sick for thing. Uh, <coughs> I guess that's why we warm up and practice. Uh, that's probably a good reminder if I ever do like a phone screen again. You know, like in theory, I know what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, like album wise, I'm doing okay, but coding, I'm just still so rusty. Um, uh, somebody before I say that, because maybe I just did something silly. Maybe there's an edge case. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> Much slower than last time though. But uh, yeah, I mean, I thought I don't need a set and a queue. That's probably way higher powered. Uh, you probably could. I mean, it depends on the input, and I was just kind of lazy, because uh, you could probably put in like a billion array of just like, like if we know it's lowercase characters, then just keep it an array of 26 characters, and then you save a lot of, you know, uh, overhead or something like that. But I don't, eh, I, I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, uh, and this is just all of N, because you look at each character at most twice, uh, once for the insertion and once for the removal. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's not super interesting. I think um, once you just kind of, I mean, in some sense, this is a greedy problem. So uh, so some of that is just like weird intuition, which I eh, always have trouble proving and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It should be okay. Uh, 